It's continuing coverage of Ball State's spring slash wintery football out here at Schumann Stadium. Joel Gadette, Mike New joins us presently. Uh, how have the last couple of weeks been? It's been awesome, you know, to get out here. Uh, the competition, the effort level between these guys, and uh, that's something that you certainly noticed day in, day out. And, you know, when you practice every other day uh, in the spring, kind of as a format, uh, you expect that. But our guys have been awesome about, uh, you know, approaching each day with an opportunity to get better. Let's go out here and compete. I hear you're looking for a quarterback. Um, tell me a little bit about how those five guys really have struck you and what has stood out. Obviously, Drew has taken a lot of the one reps. He's got the most experience. Um, but is he or is he not in the driver's seat? And how do those guys chase him down? Uh, you never want to say driver's seat. That's not the type of uh, person that Drew Plitt is. You know, he comes out and competes every day. And even though he's uh, the, the, the one, the, the number one quarterback right now, he comes out here every day with a chip on his shoulder trying to prove himself every day. And that's what uh, guys that play this position, when you when you play and you want to uh, stay on top, you got to approach every day that way. And he's done a great job of that this spring. Uh, he's done a great job of, of assuming a leadership role uh, you see him really, I've seen him grow a ton uh, before the ball snapped, you know, making some adjustments at the line of scrimmage, making some protection adjustments, a few dummy calls here and there uh, to keep the defense honest. That's part of what spring practice is all about. But, you know, that's good. You know, John Paddock is, is, is eager. He's, he's, uh, he's a competitor. I like to say sometimes he's kind of feisty. You know, he's one of those guys that, uh, you know, he's going to take advantage of every rep he gets. Obviously, Hank uh, is a little bit different style of quarterback than both of those guys and Hank. Uh, is also trying to take advantage of the reps he gets. So it's a great group of guys. They've, they've done a great job in the meeting room of uh, you know, approaching that competition the right way with uh, still supporting each other because uh, it's hard when you only have one that starts at that position. You still want to have a good, a good room where they all support each other, and, and those guys definitely do that. Tyler Stockton has started calling uh, your running back Amtrak because he said you can stop a bus, you can't stop a train. Uh, how has Caleb Huntley looked? Because he's he, he's like a brick wall. I anyway, mean, he was one before, but now he seems like he's doubled in size in yeah. a good way. You know, he has, and he's worked hard, uh, you know, with Coach Armour and, and the strength staff in the weight room. And, you know, we missed him, uh, you know, when he was out last year with injury, but we certainly know what he's capable of based on, you know, his first year here as a true freshman rushing for over 1,000 yards. And, you know, he's a, he's a great worker, and uh, he comes out every day here in practice and you know he truly does appreciate uh, you know approaching practice with the opportunity to get better every day and that's what he wants to do he wants to grow as a player not just as a runner but also in protection and you know there's you get to third down and some of the packages are, are somewhat exotic and you get pressure from all over the place and so you know, getting him repetitions at that getting all the running back repetitions at that but I'm sure glad that uh, it's awful fun to watch uh, Caleb Huntley get the ball coming downhill and um, he's making all of our guys better uh, you know not only offensively but defensively because he's a tough tackle and, and uh, those guys will, will be better for it too, uh, you know, as we finish up in the spring and go into the fall. And you've been live a little bit too. Yeah, we have. As much you know, we're, we only allowed X number of days to be live uh, per the NCAA rules, and, and that's what we've done. And so we've tried to space those out every couple of days uh, where we try to hit and have some live periods. And our guys love that, you know, and there's nothing better than playing real football. You know, yes, you know, sometimes you get tired of tackling the same people, uh, but we got to get better at that. You know, we got to be consistent, we got to be a better overall tackling team and you know it's an opportunity for us offensively to work you know making sure we're taking care of the ball ball security making sure that it's not on the ground and and um, you know it's it's fun to come out here and watch these guys compete knowing that uh, you know we try to stress as much competition as we can and we try to have periods where we have a win and a loss at stake and somebody's got to do up downs and uh, try to make it as competitive and fun environment as possible. Mike thanks looking forward to the spring game. All right thank you.